Hi Pisces friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to cover the next two weeks for you guys, June 24th to July 7th, 2019, for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Just as a reminder, Pisces, it's a general reading. I'm reading for a lot of you. If it doesn't resonate, please feel free to watch your other signs. So we are going to be doing it the same as last time. Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. Amazing. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Okay, that one flipped right up. Interesting. I'm using the Handsome Roberts Tarot deck for you guys. Pisces, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, June 24th to July 7th, 2019. Pisces. 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 Pisces, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need to know are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday. I'd love to have you guys follow me there for your weekly general reading. Your overall energy. Interesting. Okay, bottom of the deck. Okay, Nine of Wands. So you're definitely standing your ground with something, not backing down. You know, this person's gone through a lot. They're tired, exhausted, but yet they're ready to go another round. You know, this person has a lot of inner strength and courage. You know, this is someone that has waited for something for a very long time. So you could be definitely waiting on something, Pisces. And you're really sick and tired of waiting. Your overall energy is the Three of Swords. Could represent a situation involving three people. You do have two kings in this reading. You have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So for some of you, this is a relationship issue that's been ongoing. For others of you, this could represent heartache, pain, loss, regret. It could also be disappointment something just not working out in your favor but, and you're you know you're, you're stuck in your head there could be some fear let me just say that i think this reading is for a select number of pisces so please if you cannot resonate with this reading please watch your other signs which i always suggest you should do anyway it gives you a bigger picture so the Eight of Swords is, is you worrying, you know, for some of you. You know, for some of you, you could be keeping yourself in a situation involving three people. Definitely, it could be a love triangle. Sure, even like a business partnership, something like that. Just keeping yourself stuck within a situation. There could be some fear, too. 
too nervous to move forward with something. And you also have a couple eights in this reading, which eights are, is a karmic number. And you also have the Wheel of Fortune. Something was meant to be. But really needing to stay out of your head, Pisces. Try not to overthink something. You know, stay positive. Try not to let negative thoughts overpower you. You know, your thoughts are energy. Because things are going to start moving forward for you. And I don't even think all of you are going to experience this energy. I really don't. Eight of Wands, very positive energy. Things beginning to happen very quickly, very suddenly. You know, you're moving forward. You have lots of messages coming through. You know, with the star under this, there's also a big communication card. This is also a healing, spiritual energy. Some of you, I feel, definitely are hearing something that is absolutely positively meant to happen. You know, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to happen at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. It, it's karma, destiny. The, you know, and two big communication cards, I do feel strongly that it is very positive, but you need to stay positive, Pisces, because your thoughts are energy. What you put out, you get, you, re, you, you receive. If you put out positive thoughts, you're going to bring in positive thoughts, positive things. The star is always a sign to, you know, that you're on the right path. For some of you, if things aren't working out or something did not work out in the past, it could have been a blessing in disguise. And now things are definitely beginning to happen. You know, mirroring the Eight of Wands, you know, is the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this is like... You're going to blink and just go into a whirlwind. Like this is, this is shit moving extremely fast. Like out of the blue, very suddenly, just let's go. That kind of energy. Really mirroring it. Things are started to, starting to turn in your favor. So you've been sick and tired of waiting or stay, remaining in a situation or an environment that probably definitely wasn't serving you any longer, things are starting to move, starting to happen. The wheel's turning in your favor. I do feel for a lot of you, this is either a job situation, a living situation, could be a partnership. But there's definitely going to be movement and changes coming in, you know, and with these, with this, you know, news messages coming in, I feel like, you know, with the Four of Cups, some of you might not be happy with what's being offered to you. You know, you have messages coming in, you have an opportunity coming in. It's allowing for amazing, meant to be changes. But it's, you feel like it's just not exactly what you want. But with the star here, it's definitely meant to happen. And it's putting you on the, on the path that you're meant to be on. And you need to trust this, Pisces. You need to trust that it's for your highest good. You know, I strongly feel like you have an opportunity that's coming in. And I think you should go for it. Really. It could be coming from a king of pentacles, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male. You know, if it's not in regards to this person, then it's on the home front or work. You know, maybe, you know, if you're a business owner, it could have something to do with your business. But again, 
it's meant to be. And some of you just need to accept this, you know, and overcome this, this mental, this mental energy of worrying. You know, the Eight of Swords too can be you holding yourself back. You know, you're just too nervous to move forward with this change, but just really needing to stay positive. You have the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. So, of course, this could be yourself, especially if you're male. And then for others of you, I do feel like this is a water sign that some of you are dealing with. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, so you're dealing with the, either one of these men that you're dealing with. But there's a, there is a partnership, a relationship of some kind. It doesn't have to be love. It's a general, for all of you, it's a general reading with the Two of Cups. You know? But there is a partnership that is very important. And again, change is coming in. You know, I mean, this is probably my most... I'm sorry if you could hear that banging. My husband is doing some work around the house, so I do apologize. I do have a very sensitive microphone. I'm sure you probably could hear it. Um, you know, the Two of Cups or the Wheel of Fortune, you know, cycles completing, new ones beginning. So a relationship definitely could be changing. Some of you could be ending a relationship and literally Pisces jumping right into a new one that's meant to be. And if you're meeting someone new or things are progressing with someone with the Wheel of Fortune, for some of you, this is, there's two eights here and the wheel. This could be a karmic relationship. It could be a soulmate relationship, a relationship that is destined and so meant to be. I personally view karmic relationships and soulmate relationships as different types of relationships. You know, they're two different things. So, I mean, if you guys want more insight information as far as that goes, I do suggest that you have a private reading, you know, no matter if it's romantic, business or family. But for some of you, this is definitely a relationship that's meant to happen. And if there was a third party situation, some of you are leaving someone or ending a partnership and literally getting into a new one or vice versa. This can go both ways. You could, you could be the one, you could be one of the people in this situation and Someone is leaving someone else to get into a relationship with you, Pisces. You know, the high priestess. You know, this, this could be a secret. But I think some of you too also need to listen to your intuition when it comes to this. The High Priestess mirroring the star. Definitely needing to listen to your intuition. Go within when it comes to making any decisions. Some of you could be making moves, changes, decisions, and keeping all that shit to yourself. And you know, again, I just, I do not feel at all that all of you are going to experience this energy. I just don't. I just don't. This is for a small number of you and I really feel like it's fear of this change. I really feel like many of you are dealing with the Three of Swords energy. 
if it's love, if it's love related, you know, I feel like you're in a situation involving three people with the King of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the King of Cups. And then for others of you, you do have an opportunity coming in, messages coming in that are just so meant to be. I mean, really meant to be for shits and giggles. Honest to God, I can't make this shit up. Death card. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. That does come up a lot for you guys. Maybe an Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And let... Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even notice this card. Wow. Okay, Sacred Space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Come on. I can't even make this up. <laughs> right? God, there's so much to be said about this. Um, I mean, some of you are absolutely connecting with the divine. That There's no doubt. You have all this spiritual energy here. And things are going to be a lot easier for you. If you're in a nice, quiet place. Some of you will be, you know, creating a sacred space. Maybe inside your home. Even outside. Because it's nice out. And those of you that are stuck in your head. Just, again, Pisces, just stay positive. I mean, really, things are turning in your favor. On a grand scale. Could be a Leo as well. Maybe Scorpio with Leo in their chart. Spin it. I mean, it's a general reading. Spin it however you want, but... It's, it's, a, great, it's a great reading. It's just a, a great reading, really, overall. It really is. Pisces, those of you that follow me on Facebook Live, I will see you guys Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I'll see you guys back here with your monthlies. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.